uh, walking down the road where I normally used to walk down up to build a dike uh, as one of the Reichenborg, uh, the Rainbow Charity Organization's uh, official buildings, or one of the 10 or so, 12, Hamok being the main uh, registration point. Uh, went through that three years ago. I want to show you briefly, uh, you know, from my perspective. Yes. Oh yeah, the bathhouse is there around the back there. It's called the Custers. You can pay uh, one euro fifty, two euro, depends on what service you need or juice. And uh, yeah, for a shower daily. But uh, their connections, although they're independent of this charity organization, in terms of uh, co uh, cronyism and relationship and knowing each other, they're not. It's like any other town in the world. But anyway, this is it, coming up to build a dag. Uh, this was where I got into a fight. Uh, the last time for the final band, my third fights in the Reichenborg organization. You just saw that guy, you know, the way he just nearly run over that woman. She's crossing the road with a bicycle. Of course she has to cross the road. And uh, honestly, the behavior, I must say it doesn't go around the road, all around the world, but here it just seems much more uh, obvious because this place is supposed to be nice, it's supposed to be welcoming. You know, they boast of years, 110 different nations who live in the country, in Holland, but yet these people don't hold any position of influence or uh, maybe uh, working at Burger King, McDonald's. I've seen a grown man uh, riding around his scooter delivering newspapers as if he was John Wayne with his ugly looking angry face. Oh yeah, I forgot the time. They seem to be closed right now at the moment. But anyway, we still do it. Uh, this is also belonging to them where they sell trinkets and trinkets and uh, yeah, for charity organization allegedly. And uh, this is it. They, they close for lunchtime. They're open today, I think. And um, Friday, yeah, they open again. Uh, what I think uh, 1 o'clock or 1.30, they're eating now. But uh, it's really sad. But this is a section where uh, one of my so-called uh, nice-looking, handsome brothers, Musa, uh, a guy from Liberia, nice, tall, black guy. Uh, I don't know if he was a user. Or he seems to tell me that he was a user or whatever, but it doesn't matter. The point being that uh, most of the people who work in this place used to be users of some sort. And it's a good thing because they should have the necessary um, experiences that they try to rehabilitate people when they're wise in this happening. I mean, anyway, I was here for about eight months after being banned from the previous places. They only cleared me for using this place, even though people have had 20 fights, 30 fights, honestly pulling knives, stabbing each other, but yet they're still allowed to come back. But obviously when you speak against the, the organization, as I do, uh, then it becomes that my uh, so-called infringements allegedly becomes uh, 50 times worse than other people. The infringements which were actually, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, prepared by agent provocateurs. It was a setup, of course. Anyway, Musa, going back to Musa, uh, from Liberia, you know, uh, I don't know how true it is, but, you know, he seems to tell us that he knows the now president, George Weir. Uh, anyway, we have to check out that link anyway, see if it's possible, see if it's true. I'm not saying it bears any witness, um, bears any... A great spin on things other than the fact that he embarrasses Musa further because uh, you know he knows these kind of people uh, nice progressive thinking people and he's working in a Reichenburg charity organization uh, which is uh, you know normally based on helping people but yet the help is minimal I mean they've got a resident social worker in that place and Musa is also a Muslim I'm the last for a lot same time but uh, yeah it's like a very no, nice speaking man very intelligent uh, went to university educated uh, you know comes from a big family back home Okay, medium wealth, whatever, but his family back home. But that's not the point. That's not what I'm here to discuss, really. But uh, yeah, he seems to be an affable, nice uh, man. He's like, I think he's like 44 years old, just a bit older than me, a couple years older than me. And uh, well, anyway, you know, imagine I was there for eight months. He talks to me nice, giving me all this brother. How you doing now? Nah. Everything all right? No worry there. But this guy didn't tell me that I was entitled to out caring. His resident social worker, who I've seen on four different occasions, didn't tell me I was entitled to out caring. Christy, the woman who was in charge of the Amok, uh, you know, the management who's been there for a long time. I remember her from 20 years ago as well when I used Amok 20 years ago. Uh, but anyway, she didn't tell me that I was entitled to Alcare for three years, four months I was here, even though I was using these facilities. Blacker water as well. I mean, this place has a so-called Christian woman, or tents. It's time to call your names, all of you. You know what you've been doing to me. Uh, trying to set me up, allow me to be unlawfully arrested, allow me to, you know, like to be unlawfully sectioned, and then now you're all trying to stand aside and, oh, not me, Gov, not you, Gov. You're all involved, okay? Or tense, yeah, she tells you, oh, God bless you. Honestly, she looks very nice, like my mom. She looks very smiley. These people are beautiful looking people when you see them. Hence why, no wonder, I was thinking, how do they get away with all this nonsense for so long? That is how they get away with it, with fake smiles and, uh, uh, you know, and trying to look like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. 
when really people like me they're trying to make me look like Trump. <laughs> they're trying to make me look like, yeah, I'm aggressive, I'm brutal, I'm this, I'm that. I'm not supporting Donald Trump, you know, I'm not. Yeah, the man's a fascist, racist, and he's just, uh, you know, the other side of the coin of Hillary Clinton and people as that. But still, at least you can see where he's coming from, so you can work with him or not work with him. But anyway, our tents. God bless you. I was using Black Water for 18 months before I was finally ejected it because I was writing about them. And also, you have to look at chronological order, really. Yes, you will see how my videos um, have been made, why they have been made, and in response to what they have been made too. Okay, I haven't had so many hits, and I'm still struggling to get the hits, but you know, it will just raise awareness to know that this thing actually impacts on other people's lives. It's not just me suffering. That is the point, so many people go through this. I mean, my plights are nothing compared to a man or a woman and a parent who took their child to a hospital suffering from a minor flu infection but then uh, because of mistakes at the hospital uh, you know the child dies in there and then you go to a tribunal hearing and a judge and the justice said no the ju uh, yeah they made a little mistake but it's not uh, anything that we should hold them uh, accountable for their learning lessons how many times have they been in learning lessons so you know, so, you know so me going to prison 60 you know like me being arrested 67 times or 59 times no charges and three times unlawfully sectioned the, um, in the ppc in the psychiatric ward and then um also fighting my case is nothing in comparison to other people who are suffering worse i mean look at syria i mean look at iraq women are still having deformed babies from all the plutonium and all the nuclear waste which they left there i mean look at uh, you know i'm looking at afghanistan 17 years these people have been fighting they're still fighting yeah you know they defend themselves from 50 different nations you people really have no shame and this is what's Kind of, you know, I mean, this is really what's going on. And then, yeah, you don't want to go and say, oh, yes, we're the right people, we're making the right decision. Anyway, this is the same decision our tents uh, didn't make for me, even though she, she must have known I was entitled to outcaring. She's a very prominent woman. You know, they've got a, a resident social workers in Black Awatra. That's the building just by Ibis building. See my a video, you see it. And also Prince Enough, that was also set up for another fight. You know, yeah. I mean, the first place I just showed you now on video, build that. Yes, I did break the window. I broke the windows, wanted to make a statement to lie on. You know, have it on record that these people are actually part of the system of people who are bullying me. I mean, the police go there every other day, every other day to look for suspects. You know, many homeless guys yeah, go there, all these guys you see on the road now. Yeah, these are guys who use it. Adrian, one second, one second, one second, Adrian, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Boy, this is one of many people I know. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I'll see you later. I'm making a video. I'm making a video, Age, man. I thought you later, man. Ah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming later, bro. I love you, bro. <laughs> well, man, they give you a, um, anyway, that's Adrian. He's a very nice guy. I swear, if I'm telling you like, lies, we're last track with that one. I know about 300 homeless people. <laughs> and a lot of them are like him. He's very nice, but he's not so drunk. He's not so drunk. That's why he allowed me to go. And he's not taking too much speed. He's not taking too much amphetamines. But uh, if he was to tell you what his issue was, why he behaves that way, then uh, you would know why I've been talking what I'm talking and why I'm fighting what I'm fighting. Many people I know off the streets, just like this, they're victims. Okay, the ones who haven't crossed the line, who haven't become perpetrated themselves, we have to help them. But anyway, this Artense woman is part of the people, and uh, there's another guy also there, Kenneth. Yeah, very, uh, very again, very nice, handsome looking man, Suriname man, like uh, Artense is a Suriname woman. Very nice looking people. I mean, you know, they speak good, they're well dressed, some of them are you know, ex crackheads, whatever, but it's good that they've made it. Uh, ex alcoholics, ex users, okay, it's good, because that's, you know, like I said earlier, that's a resume you need trying to help people, but then yet, there's no help, there's no rehabilitation. All these funds misappropriation. You know, they come in there, they try to bully anybody who speaks against them, they try to bully anybody. Even staff has been sacked from their organizations for speaking against them. At least what's going on. But anyway, yeah, man, Kenneth as well, he's got his, um, you know, the same name as one of the people I had to call my stepbrother from back home, you know, and uh, he seems very nice, seems very affable, but then uh, his vice is, uh, I know his vice, he likes to give a, uh, um, prostitute street crackheads girls crack to have sex with them that's the story on, um, on the street anyway i know these people have many stories but i'm not gonna blab it all out but i had to say about him because he really pisses me off but anyway you know these people